What's up everybody? So in this video we're going to be talking about evolution and speciation. So let's just get started. So evolution is something I think is pretty clear in everyone's mind. They kind of have a vague idea of what evolution is. So in the IB you need to know, obviously I think not just the IB, but you need to know a very specific definition of evolution. You almost need to remember it word by word, okay? Because trust me, it comes up in so many multiple choice questions, you won't believe it. So I think the best way to explain evolution will be using this giraffe. And then I think this, this sentence will make complete sense. So you know, a very long time ago, right? Giraffes actually had short necks, believe it or not. Because back then there was not that much competition. So having a short neck was kind of fine. But then what happened was the resources got a bit rare, got a bit scarce. So only those giraffes with a slightly longer neck, maybe like two centimeters longer, would be able to reach the higher branch and therefore be able to eat a day longer and therefore be able to survive another day. And therefore they can pass on their genetics, like unlike the giraffe with a slightly shorter neck. So because of that, its genetics would get passed on to its kid and then its child will have a slight edge because it will now have the genes for a longer neck. And then just like that, over time, this will keep happening and keep happening. And eventually, nowadays, we have giraffes that have super long necks, right? So this is basically evolution. This is evolution. So let's look at the definition there and see how this story makes perfect sense. So evolution is the cumulative change in heritable characteristics of a population over generations. So there are many keywords in this definition that you need to that I need to emphasize on. First of all, generations. This process does not happen overnight. It happens over so many years, millions, thousands of years, okay? So like for example, right, you don't have, you don't just have a giraffe one day with a short neck and then its kid is going to have a long neck, a extremely long neck, right? It doesn't happen like that. It's so gradual, it's so slow. It takes generations of passing on the gene of the of um, uh, passing on the dominant gene and then that kid will pass on the dominant gene and over time will have a longer and longer neck right so it takes generations very important and population population here is important because it doesn't happen in just one organism of that species it happens overall in all of them right like you wouldn't just see one giraffe with a super long neck and all the rest with or, with a really short run right it doesn't happen like that it happens in the entire population, okay? It happens slowly over the entire species, okay? So that's also another important one you need to understand. And then heritable, we just mentioned, right? It's genetics, it is genetics. It needs to be passed on to the next generation and then the next generation until this change happens slowly over time, right? That's why we have the word cumulative. It's very minor, slow changes over a long period of time that lead to this evolution, okay? So that definition is super important to understand. Make sure you know each word and every word is important, trust me, okay? So evolution, the cumulative change in heritable characteristic of, um, of a population over generations. So if you understand this definition, then you should be able to answer this next question real easy. Is this evolution? The answer is, no, but the question is why? Why not? Why is it not evolution? Because my man, look, we got a guy uh, and he looks way different here over a while. So isn't that evolution? No, remember evolution is when there's a cumulative change in heritable characteristics. This between him here and him here, his genetics does not change. The genes are the same. It's him from before and him now. Genetics do not change, okay? But remember in this giraffe example, a long time ago, giraffe had a gene for a shorter neck, and then its kid will it will pass on the genes to its kid, and then slowly over time, the gene would change, and then eventually, many generations later, we'll have a giraffe with gene for a long neck. So, the the the, the, um, the heritable characteristic, whereas here, it's the same gene. The guy's gene is the same here that it's here. Okay, so that part is not fulfilled of the definition. Also, generations. This is the same person. So it did not happen over generations. This chain happened in one person. Its genetics did not change and it's in the same generation. And population, it only happened with this one person. It didn't happen with everybody else, right? So this is not evolution. So if you if this made sense to you, then you 100% then you get evolution. Okay, great. So what we just talked about, that definition of evolution, 
is also we can we can give it the word Darwinism because the guy kind of who came up with um, the theory of evolution was Darwin. His name was Darwin. So we're going to call this kind of theory. For access to our full-length premium videos and so much more, head over to teachme.org now.